Okay, I'm going to read four words from others. Great I Am is always in full control. August 6, 2021 by Brian Ethier. The evil one, the evil one's fear tactic is what they like to use. With their repetitive lies and deception in order to control and confuse, for their ultimate goal is to destroy mankind by every which way they can. So watch your every step and never put your trust in man. Chorus, I am your father and your creator, so listen to what I say. Put your trust in me and your redeemer, your advocate, and your fears will fade away. For they can only do what I permit the enemies of your soul. And always remember that the great I am is always in full control. For these end times must all come to pass as in the book of Revelation. And to whom you give your allegiance to is totally your decision. For I must test your endurance and faithfulness, and I also want to see just how much you desire to, to be in my son's upcoming kingdom glory. It will be a time of darkness, of chaos, of destruction as never seen before, and they will boast by the boast they are they are winning with their every plan and every war. But I see it all, and I will recompense, for I am the Holy Eternal One, and I am is separating the wheat from the tares, as justice will be done for everyone. For they can only do what I permit, the enemies of your soul, and always remember that the great I am is always, is always, is always in full control. Famine, Economic Collapse, Plagues, and Ghost Towns, August 7, 2021, EWM. Isaiah 24, starting in verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with the ma his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller. As with the lender, so with the borrower. As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth doeth, do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. But because they have transgressed, sorry, transgressed the laws, changed their ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Dream. This dream happened in the early hours of the 18th of July, 2012. It was so real, very vivid. I dreamt that I was in the main city of my home country, I saw that the banks had closed and people could not get their money out. There was chaos, panic everywhere. People did not know what had happened. I saw big time businessmen losing their minds and going insane. They were worried about their money. I saw a couple of them, including a rich IT businessman I knew, lever lev levering an, a bank ATM out of its wall slot. It took a while, but when they finally could bust open where all the cash was stashed in the ATM, the way they grabbed the money was as if their whole life depended on it. And then they fought over what little money they could get out of it. It was a very desperate scene. The scene changed. I then saw a rich local woman. She was aware that something had happened to the banks, but she continued to be spendthrift. Whenever her spoiled kid cried for something, she bought it. In the dream I remember very well, warning her that the money she depended on was about to run out shortly and she was to only buy the essentials and the dream ended. The interpretation, the worldwide economic collapse that is coming will be devastating to all countries and to the, all people living on the planet Earth. The economic collapse will be done purposely by the New World or NWO elite, TPTB, to actually bring about the cashless digital MOB system in the seven year tribulation. Just remember folks, they are just God's judgment tool, vessels of dishonor to fulfill end times Bible, Bible prophecy, sorry, prophecy. So get ready folks, it's coming. Brothers and sisters, we, we are in the beginning of sorrows, Matthew 24, eight. Time frame right now, soon we will be in the seven year tribulation. 
we must prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually for the hard times of testing that are coming. And boy, have I been preaching that for years. <laughs> I have said the exact same thing many times. We have to be ready, prepared mentally to realize the days that we're living in and to be ready to face those days with God's strength. Physically, prepare, have some food, water, and essentials. And spiritually, because we need God's word in our hearts, memorized, so that we can rest and trust in him for the hard times of testing that are coming. I recently told a Christian brother, if your faith is not deep enough, and this is just like the dream I just shared that the Lord gave me two days ago that I put a video out just before recording this video. If your faith is not deep enough, not only will you die easily due to the events and plagues that are coming, you will very easily deny your faith and take the mark because it's easy. Okay, and you're not trusting in the Lord. I know that he did not appreciate my words. Many Christians are going to be terribly disappointed when they find themselves in the tribulation and they have not been raptured yet. Ken Peter said, it is better to be, pre be prepared for the tribulation, be caught by surprise by the rapture happening early, rather than be prepared for the rapture and be caught by surprise that you're in the tribulation and you're still waiting. Dream two. In early 2018, I had this short dream just before waking up. I found myself standing at the local mini supermarket owned by a businessman that I know. The supermarket is part of a small township. It is normally busy with lots of people. I did not see anybody else outside or inside the mini supermarket except the certified mentally ill brother of the owner of the place who was standing at the front counter. Also, I did not see any birds, cats, dogs around the place. It was deserted. In the supermarket, with the exception of a few cleaning cleaning detergents, the whole place was bare, wiped clean of any food items. Then my attention was drawn to a piece of bread lying on the side, all covered with mold. End of dream. When I had this dream in early 2018, I did not think much of it. Only in the last few days did the Lord remind me that, that it was from him and it had some deep spiritual, spiritually meaning to it. The absence of food, items, and people at the mini supermarket represents the severity of the coming worldwide economic collapse, hyperinflation, famine, shortage of food, hunger, and starvation that will be happening at that time. The mentally ill person at the supermarket represents that things will be so hard at the time that people will lose their minds and go insane. It will also be crazy and insane to open shop during that time. Only those who have a close relationship with the Lord Jesus will have stable minds and be able to think rationally at that time. Dream three. In the early May 8, 2018, I was reading this super plague vision that is coming. See link and meditating on it. I then asked the Lord for confirmation. So there's a link here. A few days later on May, May 6, 2018, I had this dream. I dreamt that these two kids, a primary school aged boy and a high school aged girl, were walking or running towards me. They were crying. In the spirit, I knew they had not eaten and had been crying profusely for days. I ran towards them to help them. The small boy ran and locked himself in a church and continued crying there. The girl went and locked herself up in a glass box and continued crying there, too. Interpretations. Later on, I asked the Lord about the dream. I felt the Lord said, the famine and pestilence is coming. Famine due to the economic collapse coming, which will result in great lack of food, such as the people in Venezuela are currently facing. Pestilence due to the super plagues coming. And boy, was that right. Okay. And there's still more. People will take desperate measures to protect themselves. Instead of running to Jesus, people run to religion, to, to their church, or to other people to save them. For when the time... For when the time people should mature and grow up in Christ, they are still children, drinking milk instead of solid food. Dream four. I had this short vision on 7-28-2021, just before getting out of bed. I was at an elevation a few meters above the ground, looking at the small settlement village, which I've never seen before. I did not see any people, cats, dogs, etc. in this place. The houses were left open and, and looked abandoned, though I could sense that people lived there just recently. It was also starting to be overgrown with grass and weeds. Interpretation. 
asked the Lord about this vision and felt the Lord say that the time is coming quickly when cataclysmic, 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 sorry, events, he doesn't have it right there either, and plagues, pestilences, will wipe out most of humanity. God will protect his own, but he will judge the unrighteous and wicked. Please take the above to the Lord for more confirmation. Under pressure, Cassandra, August 7, 2021, received 8, 6, 21. Dear brothers and sisters in Yeshua, I wasn't going to share this, but I feel led to after reading the word from Brother John in Montana, with or Missouri, which included the words, the true saints of God are going to be under great pressure, great tribulation to resist these wicked enticements and resist all mandatory demands from the NWO, trash out of hell. I got very tired after my morning prayer time yesterday and took a, took a short nap. During the nap, I got the song Under Pressure in my spirit. The original video shows images from the Great Depression, de, sorry, depression, homelessness, soup lines, and also some explosions. I pray we are led to the we are led to wilderness and second exodus very soon. I have read that what is coming, especially to the US, will make the Great Depression look like a walk, walk in the park. There are also some creepy images in the video, and it was sung by Freddie Mercury and David Bowie, who were G-A-Y, and are now in H-E-L-L. Pray for protection before watching and listening, but I do believe this is a warning from the Lord and Master. Here is a link to the original video. This is The Calamity, August 2021, Terry Hennessy. Daughter, write my words. This message is for my bride, my body, my church. Rise, O oh saints. Rise and take your place. Stand ready at your station. The post I have ordained. For it is, it is I am who has ordered and prepared your steps. I am is ready now to bring about the calamity that will shake and wake the hearts of those who sleep, are asleep. My sleeping church will have no longer any choice but to awaken. To some it will be to awaken to kingdom of light, to some a perishing soul into darkness and separation from my sovereign kingdom, into a place prepared for the devil and his angels. My heart aches beyond your comprehension for those who will be divided and apart from me, their creator. Keep praying, church, for their salvation, their deliverance, their sanctification. My precious bride, it is time for my great awakening, my separation of the wheat from the tares who have gone, grown so closely together, they are barely recognizable. It is time for all to begin. Prepare and ask for my strength, my mercy, and grace upon those who will perish. Be prepared to stand and give account to those who will need help in the coming distress. Stand now, be ready, for it comes. Yeshua HaMashiach. And then there's one more. Endure to till the end, my child, Victoria A. From August 22, 2021. And it's short. Received 8 16, 21. Yesterday I had requested prayers for having to put my dog down from yesterday. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I come today once again requesting prayer. In the past six or seven months, I have lost two horses, three, and soon to be four dogs, numerous hens and chicks. Only God knows the pain I feel from such great loss. Willie, my dog, has lost the will to live, and I have to muster up the strength to have him put down. My heart feels completely broken, and, and your prayers would be greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. After spending the time with the Lord this morning in prayer, this word came forth from God's encouragement. My daughter, you know your my daughter, know your tears and efforts have not been in vain. You have worked long and hard for my kingdom, and your efforts will be rewarded. The enemy's time is so very short. The battle in the heavenlies rages on. In every battle there are casualties and wounded. I am your shield and protector. No harm shall befall you. That does not mean there will not be wounds from the battlefield. Continue to draw upon my strength as I know you are weary and have endured tremendous blows from the evil one. It is my strength that will carry you through till the end. It is I, it is I am the maker of heaven and earth that will heal your wounds. I will dry your tears and give you rest. As I have said in my word, come to me all that labor and are heavily laden. For it is I that will give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden light. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Endure till the end, my child. Be of good cheer, for the end is right upon you. I am at the door. God bless.